Xabi Alonso wants to keep Callum Hudson-Odoi at Bayern Leverkusen. There has been speculation about Chelsea winger Callum Hudson-Odoi returning to the club from his loan spell in Germany, but Bayern Leverkusen want to keep him. Xabi Alonso spoke today of his and the club's desire to keep the winger, who has been in decent form so far in Germany, until at least the end of his loan spell. Rumours have circulated of Chelsea cutting the loan short and having Hudson-Odoi as an option, but that seems unlikely now. As reported by Fabrizio Romano, Xabi Alonso today stated that he wants to keep Chelsea winger Callum Hudson-Odoi at the club until the end of the season. Speaking about the situation, Xabi Alonso had this to say, I want to keep him a lot. I am sure that he will stay until the end of the season. He is an important player for us. There was heavy speculation surrounding the chances of Hudson-Odoi returning from his loan in January, but they look to be all but over now. Chelsea have struggled in attack and it made sense to recall the winger, who can be a valuable asset when he is on form. He will now more than likely play out the rest of his loan in Germany with Leverkusen, and assess his situation next June upon his return to Chelsea. The signings Chelsea make in the meantime may determine the future of the winger. Chelsea may reignite interest in Ousmane Dembele next summer. Ousmane Dembele has been a player of interest for Chelsea for a long time now, and next summer may be no different as reports are circulating that the Blues may try again for the French winger in the summer. Dembele has regained some form for Barcelona in recent weeks, and has been the club's standout player in some games. Chelsea are looking for a winger to bolster the forward line, and Dembele could fit the bill. Barcelona may be looking to offload players to make money next summer, and Dembele could end up being one of those players. According to Spanish publication Fichages, Chelsea could reignite their interest in Barcelona forward Usman Dembele next summer, after a failed attempt to sign the player last summer. Dembele has a release clause of €50 million Euros that will activate next June, and that is certainly a fair fee for a player of the quality of Usman Dembele. It could be a deal Chelsea feel is definitely interesting. Chelsea will be looking for forwards in the coming months, and if Dembele can prove the fitness problems that previously hampered him are behind him he is as good as any winger on the planet. Barcelona are likely to sell some players next summer, and the French international could be one of those players. It is a deal to keep an eye on. Chelsea have made no fresh contact for Romeo Lavia. Romeo Lavia was a target for Chelsea in the summer, and a big one at that considering the club made a £50 million bid for the Belgian in the final days of the transfer window. He is a player that is admired internally. Chelsea have great interest in Lavia, but Southampton are of course unlikely to allow the player to leave. The big issue with signing the midfielder is also the buyback clause Manchester City have in his contract. There is expected to be contact for Lavia by Chelsea in January, but nothing has been done yet. According to Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea are yet to make contact over a new move for Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia. Lavia is on the midfield target list for the coming January and summer transfer windows as Chelsea look to strengthen the midfield, but contact is yet to be made. The appointment of Joe Shields makes a move for Lavia even more likely than before, given he was a big reason Southampton signed him in the first place. Chelsea will be in for a midfielder in January, and it could be Romeo Lavia, but they will have to bypass the issue of Manchester City's buyback clause first. They may also have to improve their £50 million bid from the summer with Southampton likely to want more than that fee for the player. Inter Milan and Juventus want Nagolo Kante in January. Nagolo Kante is entering the final months of his Chelsea contract, and is widely expected to go as a free agent in June when his contract officially expires at the club. Chelsea are expected to offer him a new one, but it may not be at the length the French midfielder wants. In an ideal situation Chelsea want to keep Kante, but he could certainly leave the club for free. Inter Milan and Juventus are reportedly weighing up moves for the midfielder, and it may make sense to Chelsea to cash in. According to Italian publication La Repubblica, Inter Milan and Juventus are both weighing up a move for Chelsea midfielder Nagolo Kante, who is expected to leave Chelsea on a free next June. There is expected to be more contract talks between Chelsea and Kante, but there is a massive chance he leaves on a free in the summer. The ideal scenario would be for Chelsea to get some money for him before that. Kante is happy in London, but a move to Italy could be something that interests him as he enters the end of his career. If either club makes a move, it would be a surprise to see it turned down. Chelsea will likely be interested in cashing in on Kante rather than let him leave on a free, so it will be interesting to see how January pans out.
Memphis Depay interested in January move to Chelsea. Chelsea are in search of a striker, and while a long-term fix would be the ideal situation, a short-term fix might be the most likely one in the January window. January is a tough time to do business, and loan deals and free transfers are sometimes the way to go. Chelsea need a striker, and Memphis Depay may be available. Depay is expected to leave Barcelona on a free transfer, and it's a scenario that could interest Chelsea. According to AS, Memphis Depay is interested in a January move to Chelsea, with their Champions League status being a big factor. Depay is open to a move back to England, where he had a turbulent time with Manchester United in the past. The Dutch striker was the subject of a lot of interest from Chelsea in the summer when he was due to leave, and that interest is expected to spark back up in January. Chelsea need more forward options, and Depay can be a brilliant addition to the forward line at the club. Barcelona are likely to allow Depay to leave the club in January to free up some funds financially, and any Chelsea could snatch at the opportunity. It is not imminent at the moment, but with Depay likely to leave Barcelona on a free transfer, it's certainly a deal to keep an eye out for. Chelsea and Mason Mount have agreed to pause contract talks until after the World Cup. According to reports, Chelsea fans will be made to wait a bit longer before star midfielder Mason Mount renews his contract with the club. With the World Cup on the horizon, the club and the player have decided to pause negotiations during it. Nizar Kinsella reported that there have been several rounds of negotiations between Mount and new owner Todd Burley regarding his contract but to no avail just yet. The two sides will reconvene once the 23-year-old returns from Qatar but Kinsella states that there is still a considerable amount of work to be done before a compromise can be reached. There is still a bit of time, as his contract expires in 2024, but not a ton. Burley himself is leading these discussions and he is said to have acknowledged that the Englishman is grossly underpaid, given his contributions on and off the pitch. Some contracts are ending before mounts but his stature at the club essentially necessitates that his be given priority over others. Armando Broja to return to Cobham to assess ankle injury. Broja started Albania's friendly against Italy yesterday but was brought off after 51 minutes with an ankle injury. The Albanians took a surprise lead against the reigning European champions, who will be missing out on their second consecutive World Cup but came out 3-1 losers, with goals from Giovanni Di Lorenzo and Vincenzo Griffo turning the score in the Italians' favour. There was no immediate concern post-match regarding Broja's injury, but he will return to Cobham in the next few days to assess the issue, in the hope there is no further damage. If there is any more issues with his injury, Broja and Chelsea will be relieved that the World Cup break gives him a four-week stretch to recover so that he can be fully fit for the Blues' first league game back after Qatar, on the 27th of December against Bournemouth. With the return to Cobham, Broja will miss his nation's next friendly against Armenia on Saturday afternoon.